five meals in one hour. It is happening today. Hey everyone, so welcome back. My name is Tanya. I'm so excited if you're new to my channel. Today I'm doing a first video like this. I've been wanting to do it for a long time. I'm doing a freezer meal, meal day and I'm so excited. I'm going to take you guys along with me, show you how I'm making 10 meals in one hour. That's the goal. We'll see what happens, right? Maybe there'll be user error. Who knows? Hoping not. But I'm so excited because my friend Molly is joining me and we are going to make 10 meals, that's our goal in one hour. We're splitting the cost of groceries. We're gonna quick show you what we have ready to go. And um, yeah, so I'm so excited to take you guys along with us to show you how we're in the process, give you some tips, and see what happens in the end. Hopefully we'll have some awesome slow cooker meals ready to put in our freezers that we can use for weeks ahead to just help us not have to worry about dinner every day. So, which is a thumbs up for me, right? I love that. Any day I don't have to worry about dinner is a good day. All right, let's take you along guys, you guys with me. Okay, so here as you guys can see, we did a lot of our shopping from Target and Aldi and we split up the cost. This really helped. A lot of things we already had, definitely recommend checking before, um, you know, like spices and bags, make sure you guys have that. And those are all the things that we needed to get. And then this is the list. I will have a link to it down below. We just found like a prepared one on Pinterest. All right, Molly, are we ready? Okay. We're totally ready. Yeah, look, we got our you aprons on. You know, we're gonna it. get stuff done. All right, let's go. Start. So one of the first things that we had to do was ground our beef. So this did take a little bit of time because we had a good amount of ground beef, um, but it was pretty easy to do. So we split up and took turns doing this. And we ended up with a lot of ground beef for our recipes. I think this is the biggest bowl of ground beef I've ever seen. Look at it! So much beef. So much. Good onion cutting. <laughs> My prep. Any crying? No. No crying. No tears. <laughs> no tears. You should cut all my onions for me because I always cry. So then we also cut up our vegetables as you guys saw, the onions and green peppers. And then I went um, and started labeling the Ziploc bags. I would recommend using a marker, but I just wrote down the name of what each recipe was and the date we prepared it because it's going to be in our freezer. But I would also recommend, I forgot to write this, um, like the instructions for, you know, how long to cook it in the crock pot or bake it or whatever. So, but that is basically what I did there. And then this is a really good tip. You'll hear me talk more about it later in the video when we review kind of how the process went. So stay tuned to the end. But this is a really good tip. We just use this big coffee container or really any bin or something to hold um, the bag. That way it doesn't fall over as you are pouring and you have two hands free. And then big um, is really the fun part of the whole process is really just starting to put the meals together. So we would just do one recipe at a time and just fill up, you know, one bag at a time. But we doubled obviously because there were two of us. So we would just take turns. So this was me. I think I was doing the beef teriyaki recipe. Um, and so, yeah, I think this is the fun part because you're just kind of mixing once everything's ready and out on the table. You just got to measure the correct amounts and get everything in the bag. So it makes it really easy once all the prep work is done. And if you can, when possible, use like frozen vegetables. It just makes it really easy because you don't even have to cut things. They're already cut and ready to go in your bags. And then this is a really fun part too, is just shaking it up, mushing it up. Make sure you squeeze out the air so it doesn't bubble when you're putting it in the freezer. And this was another recipe I was working on. I can't remember. I think this might have been the chili. But yeah, like I said, as you can see, once everything's like browned and it's really easy um, to use like the canned tomatoes because you just open it up and dump it all in. So um, it's pretty easy easy to get that going um, yeah and I really did like this recipe we tried the chili and it was pretty good so I definitely would recommend this recipe for if you download this guide um, this is a pretty good one so we really liked having them be slow cooker meals I think that really helped too they weren't just freezer meals but they also were slow cooker because I love anything slow cooker uh, we did this time use like just pre-packaged seasonings you can make your own but we just for the sake of time did that and that really helped too so that's another little tip if you want to save um, time and you can do that fast and just get them at Aldi for a good price and yeah, as you guys can see, that was a pretty big bag of chili. But yeah, squeeze out all that air because otherwise the bag will kind of bubble and won't lay flat when you're freezing them. 
and I think this is just really cool too as you guys can see my daughter pitched in and helped out a little bit and I think it's just fun to have you know with a buddy I think this is the whole point is like it's just so fun to do it with someone I don't think I would have liked the process half as much if I did it by myself um so it's just I think there's something fun to do we did this on like a Saturday afternoon and we really like it. This is our second time doing this. We definitely want to do another one. Um, but yeah, so we're on the hunt for more freezer meal recipes to try out. So if you guys have any more, definitely share them down below. Um, if you guys have some favorites or even things on Pinterest, if you guys know, because it's always easier when it's already like pre-made recipes and stuff. So, but yeah, it was a really good time. We had a lot of fun too. So it wasn't just practical. <laughs> it was really fun. Okay, so here's everything we came up with. Our lovely hand model Molly. <laughs> so we ended up, it was six per person, but one of mine I'm actually making today like for dinner. I have other ones, so there's the cilantro chicken for tacos. This looks so good. I'm really excited about this one too, the beef teriyaki, beef and broccoli. And then there's the white chicken enchilada bake. So that one looks really good. And then there's chili and chicken broccoli alfredo. And then that molly. So yeah, we each mm -hmm. made the, like the same set or whatever. But yeah, so I think that went pretty well. So we have some good meals. I think the last just a good amount. So yeah. All right. We did it. We did it. Yeah, we did it. Okay. We have some tips for you guys. Two and, and a half hours later. <laughs> yeah, not an hour, first of all. Um, I don't know if it's because, because the recipe thing was like for five recipes, right? Six. Or six, and we technically doubled it. So then I think maybe that's what took longer. Uh, yeah, for us, I think it was just like the prep work. Um, yeah. We only used one pan to cook all of the proteins in, yeah. so it was multiple batches. Time-wise, it didn't help us too much. Yeah. Um, so I think that was really our downfall. I know. And then also- <laughs> When the thing went off after an hour, we were like, no. um, we didn't even start putting them in the bags yet. But anyway, but I don't know, I guess that varies for everyone, yeah. So, yeah. so I mean, just keep yourself organized clean up as you go yeah yeah that's our other tip is clean as you go um because you will have a lot of stuff especially because we doubled mm -hmm. but a lot of like cans and i think anytime you do like ahead of time you know like meal prep you're gonna have a lot of kind of like the mess and stuff and the scraps mm -hmm. and a lot of cans and stuff from the beans and tomatoes so we had a lot like yeah just we had a lot to, yeah it's like recycle and compost and stuff but I mean, it makes sense, I guess, because you're using a lot of it. But just a heads up that you're gonna have kind of a mess because you have a lot of jars and stuff. Oh, another tip that we have that worked really well is using coffee cans. Yes, the coffee cans. That works really well, actually. Props to my husband for, I always give him crap. I'm like, why do you have all these coffee cans? I'd be like, what are we ever gonna use them for? Well, there we go. Today was the day because we just used the big ones. And I think, I mean, you could really use anything. Like, you that's could. like any kind of like. The the big, because these were like the club brand size, yeah. like so from Costco or like Sam's Club, those were yeah. especially helpful because they were so deep that we were able to like yeah, really just, get all of our ingredients And it into helps the bag. it so it doesn't like flop over. Because yeah. I know there's like ones that they sell sometimes specifically like holding the, your bag yeah, on the, Amazon, but I'm like, if you have anything that's basically like a container, or even like a cereal container or anything like that, like use anything like yeah. that and then save your money. But that works really well. Because I feel like mm -hmm. if we didn't, I feel like I could totally have seen myself at like flopping, flopping over. Because yeah. that would happen to me. So right, right. that's another tip. Okay, so our next tip is, I don't even know what we call it. I mean, so I mean, you know, <laughs> their recipes, you're always gonna tailor them to, you know, like your, your no taste one is and your family's exact case. Same size, I don't know what, but. Um, I mean, at least with like these recipes, um, they were really easy to follow. They were new to us, so that's also why yeah. it took us longer to get through all of this. Um, but then also comparing like your size of proteins versus mm -hmm. what the um, what the recipe says. Yeah, you know, I think that's also why we ended up using like a lot of time because we kind of just went off like what the recipe called for, and it did mm -hmm. say that I think it said like each thing was like meant to feed like four people or so. But I still feel like I don't know. I feel like it was a lot. Maybe because yeah. maybe they're heavily protein based, which I mean it's fine. But like we we followed it and we got like the four pounds of ground beef, and it was like so much it was ground a lot. beef. Like we ended up having extra but i mean it's it was just a, a lot more than what we normally i think would put in our normal yeah. food and i mean because what you're you're a family of five yeah well, four and a half <laughs> yeah my dollar does yeah but like yeah and i'm just me, a family of two it's just me and my husband yeah um, i felt like it was a lot and like especially the chicken too we ended up adjusting some or like i don't mm -hmm. know we 
for some things I could see, but like some of the recipes called for four chicken breasts for one. And I don't know, like I was telling you, I was like, no breast is the same because I feel I like, I don't know, I feel like they're giant. They are, I felt like like the chicken breasts at least that we had, they were yeah. like the size of a full like Cornish <laughs> game hen. <laughs> yeah, so we literally like, we adjusted it. I think it said four chicken breasts and we just did two because yeah. it was just too much. Like no, I, it would have yeah. been too much for all. Because I mean like I, I bought a five and a half pound package yeah. of chicken assuming that you know like yeah it's a little you know it's a half pound less but you know like this should cover us for no, all of our meals was, yeah but we ended up using more chicken yeah. so we needed more chicken we but, had a lot of ground beef so we didn't exactly yeah, balance but out yeah there. we yeah it's just like you have to adjust it like it was yeah yeah so you figure out for yourself yeah how it exactly works. you so, know adjust yeah. things to your taste yeah. to your family yeah so when you are going through and prepping everything, make sure you do read all of your recipes so you know what to expect ahead yeah. of time. We kind of did that, like half did it. But yeah, not really. We, we could have read that those with just a few more <laughs> because, times. Yes, because we were like, onions, oh, you just put them in the ground beef. We like dumped them yep. all in and then later we were like, oh, oh we need to cut more onions. <laughs> <laughs> we were just kind of winging it. I think another tip I would say is having gone done this, I feel like definitely work with a buddy. Cause I was telling Molly, like, I can't imagine doing all this like by myself. Like I, I don't know. I just feel like it would still yeah. be. I mean, I know that's kind of how freezer meals work. You put a lot of prep ahead of time so that it saves you on the road. But I just feel like it would still be a lot for me to handle like by right. myself. But I think definitely doing it with like a buddy because I know like how it keeps it interesting. Yes, also interesting. But I think it just helps with time. Like I, I think you can split the tasks. And also if you're splitting like groceries, because that's what we did, we split the cost too. So that was helpful because we kind of divided and mm -hmm. each did like somebody would bring some protein. I think that's helpful too. That's maybe some, because I know some people sometimes don't want to do frozen meals because it's kind of a lot of money up front but if you want to do it with a buddy you guys can like just try even a couple meals and split up the cost and do it that way too mm -hmm. so that was helpful but yeah so that's kind of some of our tips and good luck if you guys are going to try it out let us know down below if you do yes. and also we want to hopefully do another installment of this because yes we like freezer meals and especially slow cooker ones so if you guys have any tips or your favorite like freezer meal or slow cooker recipes yes. Or Definitely. if you have, you know, yeah, a favorite Wisdom. like batch <laughs> yes. of freezer meals that you have done that you found like on Pinterest or something yeah. like that. Yeah, because we'll Link share the one. Below. Yeah, we'll share the one we're using. Well, I'll be down there. But yeah, definitely I am all for like give me all the advice because yes. I'm definitely not an expert at this. And yet. if you have meal plans where you don't need to cook anything ahead of time, you yes. just need to throw stuff together. <laughs> That's even better because those are my favorites. I know. I think the first time we did freezer meals, yes. it was just throw every everything into a yes. bag. We might have to do that next time again yes. because this time it was good and I'm excited about a lot of the meals but I feel like because you had to like ground the beef and some of the chicken had to be fried it took longer than just dumping yeah. so I think that's another thing. yeah I'm yeah. definitely more of a just, just dumping dump in a bag. yeah <laughs> it's easier it but really yeah is. So we'll see you guys hopefully in another Salmon Freezer Meal. Thumbs up if you guys like this. And as usual, if you are new here, subscribe. So hopefully you will not miss another video. Bye, everyone. Bye. Hello. <laughs> we love freezer meals. <laughs> what is that face? Get out of here. No. People are not going to want to watch our video. Bye, everyone. <laughs> no. No. <laughs>